Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. I hope you guys can see me okay. I'm in a bit of an enclosed area, uh, so hopefully you shouldn't hear any wind. And for once guys, I'm actually doing nothing about vlog with actually a topic to talk about. And uh, it's been something I've been hearing a little bit about recently. <laughs> Sorry guys, flies. And uh, yeah, I thought I would uh, make a little video talking about it. Now, the first thing guys was, I've got to quote a video, because I watched uh, a video by uh, someone that I'm subscribed to. He's a Finnish gamer from Finland, uh, Raki Aramis. So I might actually put his video in the, in the description below if you want to check it out. It's like half an hour long video. Uh, but I watched it because it was something I was really, really interested in. And uh, he just seems like a you know, genuinely cool guy. Loves both, you know, uh, retro and, uh, well, slightly more modern gaming as well. Sorry to cut a little bit, it got really windy there. But uh, yeah, he's into both retro gaming and, uh, well, slightly current gaming. He's got a PS3. Uh, he's not got a PS4. Uh, he doesn't really feel a need to get a PS4, which, to be honest, guys, uh, I can't blame him. There's hardly anything, even on the PS4 or even current gen, worth, you know, buying, to be honest. I mean, the best games I've played, PS4, Far Cry 4, The Last of Us, both get, get them both on PS3. So they're not, like, you know, exclusive, you know, current gen. But uh, yeah guys, he apparently heard on, uh, I can't remember what it was, but uh, he heard somebody on about Mortal Kombat X because it's getting cancelled for the PS3 and Xbox 360, for, you know, current gen. It's getting cancelled, and there was somebody saying, or a few different people saying, that if, you, if you're so desperate to play that game, get a PS4 or Xbox One. Really. Really. So what, just because uh, they want to play that game, they have to get a current gen console when it was supposed to be coming out for a last gen. They should just go out there and get a PS4. And that brings me to another topic as well. Some people think retro gaming is just absolute flipping garbage. I mean, fair enough, that's uh, right. If we're, if we're not into retro gaming, well, you know, fair enough, not everybody likes retro games. But the fact that some people are saying you know, if you've not got like a PS4 or an Xbox One, you're not, you're not a gamer. I mean, to be honest guys, in my opinion, okay, that's just my opinion, but I would say that's a, the complete opposite. If you're a gamer, you appreciate the whole gaming, you know, aspect, you, you appreciate current gen, you appreciate retro, whether it be disc games, cartridge games, you know, obviously I'm into like, you know, obviously PlayStation consoles, discs, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really that retro. But uh, obviously I still play PS1 games, PS2 games. And what, so those, those consoles are just considered garbage just because they're not releasing games for them anymore? I mean, again guys, you can put down in the comments below what you think, but it's just one of those topics that really, really pissed me off. And uh, I've been hearing about it more and more on the internet. And uh, I don't know whether it's people trolling or whether it's people being serious, but for me guys, a true, great, a true gamer appreciates every console you know appreciates retro appreciates current gen so what some of my best games of all time are actually you know retro resident evil 2 resident evil 3 sonic the hedgehog games for the mega drive uh what else is there digimon world ps1 crash bandicoot spyro ps1 games those in my opinion are games that i consider like the best games of all time so what we should just throw them in the bin because they're not current gen, they're worthless. Yeah, that's, um, yeah. <laughs> Let's not go into that, guys. It's it's one of those topics I could talk about for a little while. Uh, kind of thing, kind of pissed me off, to be honest. I was going to talk about it, like, in the house, but I couldn't really get motivated uh, to make it. I was just going to, the idea was just going to sit around for a few weeks. But um, I thought I might as well do this. Sorry, guys, it's getting windy. But I thought I would just make this now. When we're in like a, an enclosed area, nice relaxing little area. I'm just out for a walk, I'm on my way back home actually. It's about almost an hour and a half each way, about an hour and 25 minutes each way. So I get plenty of exercise because I'm walking along the cliffs. So I get plenty of exercise, trying to make the most of this summer as, um, you know, make the most of this good weather while I can because it won't be long before the winter comes in. To be honest, I will be happy in a way for the winter. Um, I like summer, don't get me wrong, I do like hot weather, 
But the gardening, oh. The gardening, oh, I hate, absolutely hate gardening. So that's one thing I'm really thankful for in the winter. You don't have to cut the grass, you don't have to, well, cutting the grass isn't that bad, but like weeding, it's the most boring thing in the world. I can tell you. But anyway, yeah, guys, going into um, a bit more on the gaming side, a bit more into the gaming side. I um, I'm more of a current gen gamer than a than a retro gamer. You know, I do play more uh, PS4 and well, maybe not so much PS4 because there's not really much. It's not really much on it apart from like FIFA and stuff. Uh, but I, my like, most used console is easily the PS3. Because I've got, I still consider that a current gen console what, tied with the PS4 and like the 360 and the Xbox One. I do still think all four consoles could still be classified as current gen. Because I mean they're releasing games on both PS3 and PS4 as well as Xbox 360 and Xbox One. So they should really both be considered current gen in a way, but you know, that's not really the way they work it. And yeah, the last thing guys is... Um, Another thing, I got asked this once, it was quite a few years ago, and uh, it was like, you've got a PS3, why do you still buy PS1 and PS2 games? You know, I'm, I didn't say it at the time, but I was like, really? Tell me you didn't just say that. That was obviously before uh, PS4 came out. I just couldn't believe someone asked me that. You know, it's, um, it's called being a video game collector. And if you're going to ask, why do you collect video games? You know, why do you... <laughs> I, could, I could ask, why do you collect stamps? Why do you collect books? Why do you collect CDs? Because that is what you're into. That is basically your passion. And if I wasn't collecting games, I would probably collect something else, because I do like the idea of collecting things. You know, when I look at my, like my, my game collection, I like to look at the artwork. Believe it or not, I love the artwork of some games. You know, I like to just pick up the case and I look at the artwork. It sounds... Silly, but that's just my passion, guys. That's my passion for gaming. I mean, like when what the PS5 comes out, an Xbox Two. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's gonna what's gonna be called. Um, but yeah, when when those, those consoles come out, you know, there's still some speculation, just like there was about the PS4 and Xbox One. Will it have like a disc drive? You know, <laughs> and I'm just thinking, you know. A console without a disk drive is not a console I want. You know, not a console I want, guys. So, uh, yeah, keep. I don't see why they would totally disk, uh, totally get rid of physical games. If I'm being totally honest, I mean, personally, because I thought I thought like CDs and DVDs and that. I thought they'd be gone by now, but they're still around. You know, despite all the streaming services like you know Spotify, iTunes. And like what movie places like what Netflix and what BT films and Sky films and you know, you know they're still around. They're still uh, physical media. So I think it's the same thing with games. I mean, why, why would you just do away with it? I, I just don't really, I just don't really get that. But then because I hope you've enjoyed this little video. It's a little bit muddy in this this part of the the place. I just thought I'd uh, make this, guys. Um, this is probably the longest out and about video I've done. Probably to what in case anybody around here. Catching me standing around talking to myself. Or the camera. <laughs> but um Yeah, I can go that way that we're going this way. But um up this hill. So yeah, I just really thought I'd make this guys. I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. And uh, let me know what you think about any how do you see me guys? Can't have that. Can't have that guys. Um <laughs> But um, yeah guys, let me know what you think of anything I've talked about guys. I do think I've got my point across. I mean, I actually, to be honest, I actually started this video in the house. But I don't know, I just kept fluffing my lines and I don't know. And I ended up losing motivation in the end. So um, yeah, I've not lost motivation guys. I've kind of just, um, I think I've expressed myself quite well during this video to be honest. I wish I could make more up and about videos like down the street and that, but the hell with that. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know, I mean, I look like really popular YouTubers and that, like, uh, like walking down the street and like going into like shopping malls and that, and they've got their camera out talking on camera, and oh my god. 
Sorry guys, my bloody arm's getting sore. Switch hand. Can you see me? Yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, I just don't really know how they can do it. They must have, must have some right nerves, guys, you know? I mean, I watch this guy called Grim, and he bloody wrestles. <laughs> he wrestles people outside and on the beach and things, in front of, like, loads of people. And I'm just, <laughs> and I'm just like, wow. <laughs> this guy's got some nerves, because he was fighting this guy on the beach. And there's a, a bear at a live match. Obviously, it's all scripted, obviously. He's got his own, like, show. Uh, to be honest, the guy watches far too much wrestling, you know? But uh, yeah, he does his own show, his own wrestling show. Gives wrestlers funny names, like, instead of Brutt Lesnar, it's uh, Boric Laser. And he always goes into Boy Mode. Yeah, he just makes it, like, funny names and that, so. Yeah, there's this one, this guy in the beach, and he was, like, hitting him with a bloody cane, cane stick and everything. I was like, what? I mean, people, I don't know if, like, you inform people around that he was doing, like, a wrestling show or something. I mean, I'm guessing people would get it when he's had, like, somebody filming it, but... <laughs> you know, I'm hoping that before the match, yeah, he, uh, he said this is all staged. You know, because somebody could bloody call the police with somebody getting beaten up with a cane stick and... This guy's trying to bury this guy alive, and you know, I just, um, I just admire this guy's like, you know, confidence. And I admire everyone's confidence that can make videos outside. It's getting really windy, guys. I really hope you can hear me. I'm gonna end it in just a minute. And I've also, um, I've been subscribed to Wabosu for a while. He's uh, another, you know, game collector to sort of pick up videos and things. And he's actually uh, got a camera now, he's actually started making videos outside and like uh, recording himself at the bus stop uh, recording himself going into the charity shops you know you, he's got it like I don't know how must have it like at the side of his pocket or something and he like records basically you know everything that's on like the shelf so uh, I just think that's absolutely bloody fantastic you know again it takes real bottle to do something like that and I wish I wish I had said bottle but nah I've no I've no got it <laughs> But anyway guys, thanks so much for watching guys, I better end it now, because uh, we're coming up to like a little, little town, so. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching guys, and uh, yeah guys, catch you on the next video. See you guys.